Today I'm going to be discussing John Dewey, who was my focus for my philosophical analysis. John Dewey was a major influence in education, and still today there are educators like myself who use his philosophy in their teaching. I find that his philosophy has influenced my teaching styles greatly and has had a positive influence on my students without, throughout my four years of teaching. John Dewey was a pragmatist and also a progressive educator. Throughout history growing up, John Dewey went through the American temperament, not, um, also known as the frontier, individualism, and the community. John Dewey was also a political, social, and economic um, person that was selected um, to go through the progressive movement, the Great Depression of the 1930s and World War II. He also, um, he also contributed and um, went through himself in school the developments of education and the different tools that were used today. When he was in school, he got to see the progression of what tools were like in the classroom and then being an educator he got to develop new tools as well. John Dewey, John Dewey lived in a rural setting with his family. Um, his mother and father were great influences in his life and that's when he began to have strong morals in his educational values. He himself created a family with his wife Alice um, they had six children, and building that family, he then used his education that he was teaching his students to build some of his philosophy and began learning through his own children. His wife was also a teacher, and they grew a relationship by building philosophy together and continuing to have conversations and building their marriage through philosophical issues. John Dewey was an influence in both an education and also throughout college, throughout colleges. He went to Johns Hopkins University and studied philosophy. Um, and then later on, he became a professor at the University of Michigan in philosophy. He enjoyed digging deeper into different philosophical issues and continuing to teach other students about educational philosophy and the founders that he found influential in his own life. He became a world famous philosopher through his own writings such as Human Nature and Conduct, um, Democracy and Education, and multiple other writings that he wrote. Some of his writings also were reflected on his um, philosophy and the beliefs that he had as, as an educator and as an individual. Dewey looked up to Darwin and found that as an, as an influence for the theory of evolution. He believed in, nat in natural way of thinking and that students should naturally come to their own learning on their own. He believed in inquiry-based thinking. He thought that projects are important to help involve students in their own thinking. That way learning was not being forceful. It was also a sense of play and a sense of um, inquiry as a child and coming to, your, to thinking on your own. Dewey also was a heavy believer in reflective thinking. He thought this was a way for students and educators to both take a step back and think about what, why, and how they're doing certain things. And also as a step that you can take while you're building content, but also if you're thinking about why certain behaviors or certain things are happening in the classroom as an educator. This um, system, this reflective thinking system, helps educators and students to improve on 
certain situations that may occur in the future. Dewey also thought that um, problematic situations and problematic thinking was important. He thought it was important for um, students and educators to be involved in problem solving. He found it very important for educators to continue to develop and put situations out there for students where they continue to problem solve on their own and continue to do it throughout their whole life, not just their own education, because these are these are skills that are going to be continuously built throughout their whole life. Dewey also thought that socialism, socialism and social thinking was important. Even though curriculum in math, science, um, social studies, ELA is important, he thought that social curriculum should be put first. Those are the skills that children are going to need to learn in the first place and skills that are going to be built throughout their whole life, not just in school. So he thought that that should be put first over curriculum. Dewey thrived in the idea of experimental thinking and experimentalist curriculum. Um, again, building the idea of inquiry-based thinking, really getting students involved, thinking about why certain things are happening and getting them to come to thinking on their own. These are certain aspects of education that I myself um, use in my own teaching. I use reflective thinking. I use um, problem solving. My students are always problem solving on their own. When they ask for help, I always try to help them, but I always try to push, push them to try on their own and think for themselves first before I begin to help them. I also think that it's important as an educator to continue to build inquiry-based learning and um, experimental thinking I also think that social curriculum is very important. Being in the world of special education, social curriculum um, will always be a first for us and we're always trying to get more in when we can. John Dewey was certainly an, inf an, in an influential philosopher um, and will continue to be an influence on education throughout the years to come.